Okay, we're now recording the Chaos Evolution Working Group meeting on February 26, 2020. Welcome, everybody. Or specifically, welcome, Georg. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I figured uh, today um, that there's not any new um, pull requests or issues. Uh, to talk about. So I figured we could just work on some metrics a little bit, um, see how far we get. I know, Gary, you might have to dip out early. Um, but uh, before that, um, I meant to ask, um, were you on the gen the general call yesterday, Georg? Did they discuss the, the move to GitLab and stuff? Is there anything we need to discuss with that here? So we did not discuss anything yesterday because the meeting was rather small. And so the the people who were actually maintainers, especially of software, there was no one from Augur or Grimoire Lab who okay. would be most affected by this switch and who have the strongest opinions. <laughs> <laughs> so we just said, okay, we'll have to continue the conversation on the mailing list uh, or bring it up in a future meeting. Okay, sounds good. I know Sean is it, uh, out of time this week, and I had class during that time. So I would have been there if I could have, but I needed to go to class. <laughs> yeah, turn no, that's fair. Um, okay, sounds good. I just wanted to check in with that, make sure if there's anything we needed to discuss in the working groups or anything, since it would affect us too. But um, here, I will, um, yeah, yeah, you already have the notes, you see it. Um, so last week, uh, we talked a little bit about the release sheet. Um, let me pull it up. And I think we decided we were going to focus on some new contributor metrics uh, since those uh, we only had for the last release those new contributors closing issues. And it felt like it just made sense to maybe backfill some of the ones um, for commits. Um, sorry, we had new contributors for closing issues. And then backfilling the ones for new contributors overall, new contributors of commits, and new contributors of issues, which I assume just means new open issues. Um, and I think one thing that we also discussed was linking the contributors metric, the new contributors metric, to the common, the common working group. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. So I'm sorry. I was looking for the specific line. So. Um, I don't think we decided on any sort of language specifically to use uh, at this point. Um, we did just say specifically reference the specific implementation or that that this is a specific implementation of the common uh, working groups contributors metric, which I think we also did with the new contributors closing issues uh, before we released it, um, if I'm correct. Maybe not. I know it was discussed at some point, though. And I can share my screen if you want, Georg, but you yeah, probably got it. Yeah, that would be helpful. Okay. Here we go. Move that to the bottom. Um, so these three metrics were the ones that I was uh, talking about. So um, if you want, we can just start thinking about one of them, see how far we can get. Yep. Let's start a Google Doc. All right, here. I've already got one for new contributors open, so I'll just throw the link. I can find the chat window. Come on. Where did it go? There it is. So, contributors. All right. All right. So, I'm going to start. No, at first, I'm going to do. I'm going to pull up the contributors metric in common. Um, I should probably link the contributors is a released. Um, that's a released metric, correct? Would it make more sense to to reference the 
the published version on the CAS website or the one on GitHub? I think it makes more sense to publish, uh, to reference the published one. Um, that's what I always try to do. Okay, I agree with that. I'm just seeing if I was on the check. This looks to be the correct one. So this is a specific okay. notation of the uh, contributors. So I'm also going to pull up the new contributors closing issues, the metric that we released, just to see how we kind of framed this question specifically in this case. Okay, cool. So I was right. So how many contribution to the project. To a given project, should we introduce time, uh, say during a given time, in project and time frame? Um, to me, that makes more sense for this specific metric. But when we did it in the new contributors closing issues, um, we there was no mention of time in the original question. But the one of the parameters was a uh, period of time. Okay, that makes sense. So as a filter, right? Uh, for this one it specifically, it was a parameter under implementation. But I guess. I'm not sure if that would be a parameter or a filter. We've done it as a parameter in the past, but maybe it makes more sense to have it be a filter. Hmm, now that I think about it. Because to me, the to me a parameter is like, if I change the parameter, it fundamentally changes the data that I get back like a different contributor or a different okay. project would be like a parameter versus a filter just it's the same data no matter what i'm just choosing to look at it a little bit differently which is kind of what the period of time says to me but that could be that that's just my like gut reaction to that so maybe it would make more sense to put it under filters okay which probably means you should change it in some of the other ones. <laughs> but I'll do that later. OK, so I had already time here. With When was the first contribution made? I can change that to a period of time. Oh, yes. Um, a default I, does not make sense. Right. I'll just remove this and have no default. Okay. Um, yep. That sounds good. So a description of what the metric is and what it captures. Okay. contributors. Do, did we have a filter for place contribution, like whether they contributed to Git or GitHub issues? Or? Oh, like the, the, the method of contribution in, in like what capacity? Um, so in the, in the common uh, definition of the metric, it has all the locations of engagement. So we could. Um, Maybe it would make more sense to like list the specific ones that we would look at for evolution 
um, like like reiterate them, or we could just say for to, for uh, possible locations of engagement, you know, refer back to the contributors in common. Okay. Yeah, we can refer to C. And then what was the name of the metric where you had that long list? Um, it's just the contributors metric. Um, okay. The, the, the link is right there. Excellent. And I like that you had this contributors metric. And we're going to add the link in here. Oh, we also have a type of contribution. I like that. Which is the that's a new metric that we just approved last week in the common working group. Cool. Yeah, I'm super excited because I've been working on this for more than a year now. Well not actively the time you know how this is. right I mean, I'm reading the new metric because it sounds cool and I want to read it. Oh, yeah, of course. Can you see? Yeah, this is a super cool metric. I'm already trying to think of ways that we could capture this kind of data because this would be super cool. Awesome. I like, yeah. I like I like it. Especially the having an uh, a bot do the classification. That seems like it could be really cool, but also really tough, which sounds exciting.
I like it. I like what you just wrote in the description. Okay, good. I was I was reading what you just wrote, and I was going to ask if you had read what I, what I wrote. <laughs> I like we're on the same page. Yeah, I like the objectives as well. I think those are all super important. Um, oh, I was going to say something. I was trying to. I had another thing I was going to put in the description, but I don't remember what. I think the most important thing is is the the importance of project health, like welcoming them, like uh, the barrier of entry part, I think is really important. And then also just the number of them can, it's not, it doesn't always make sense. Cause like sometimes Sean will uh, have people from his class, like open a pull request to Augur just so they know what a pull request is. Um, yeah, which is not a exact you know one to one representation of how much more popular Augur is. Um, so sometimes it gets artificially inflated. So I tried to word that word that specifically so it didn't say always because sometimes it does get artificially inflated. But I think this should be clear enough that people would understand why we care about it. Yeah, and so the only disconnect that I have is at the beginning we say how many contributors are making their first contribution to a given project. And then later I say knowing who they are. And that is different from having a number. But I think right. okay, because if you can calculate the number, then you can also identify who they are. Yeah. Maybe we could even just phrase the question as how many contributors are making their first con contribution to the project and who are they? That or is, oh, well, um, yeah, okay, that's fine. I was gonna say having two questions in there, but I feel like both of those are such a, are equally important parts of this metric specifically that I think it's okay. Yep. Um, and this is like a, a somewhat, mm, yeah, this is pretty nitpicky. Um, for something like pull requests, um, would we say your first contribution is when you open your first pull request, or is it when your first pull request like gets merged? Because some of like some of these stages have multiple stages of engagement, or some of some contributions have like multiple stages. If that makes sense, um, because opening a pull request is a contribution, but if nothing gets merged after the pull request and it gets closed, then what exactly do you point to to say this is what they contributed? You know, it kind of gets. Yeah, I like you, you the stage of engagement. I added the filter. Okay. Oh yeah, I it, like it. Great. Because I don't want to describe, uh, prescribe how to implement this metric, but yeah. say, hey, this is something to think about, and you have a good point here. Um, I'm gonna look at the. I'm gonna look at the other types of. I'm gonna pull up that types of contribution again. I'm going to see if any of the other ones would make me think of like weird uh, edge use, like edge cases. Um, documentation, localization, security related, teaching, troubleshooting, creative work. I think the I'm reading it, uh, reading any of uh, the reading the rest of the types of contribution. I can't think of any other super edge cases, but um, would in I think in so in specific cases where the community is large enough, i.e., something like. I'll uh, we'll say like Rails. Like if people ask a question, a specific type of question on like something like Stack Overflow about how to solve a specific problem in Rails, is asking that question like are are members of that part of the community? Well, you know, representing them on Stack Overflow, is that a contribution or is that more just outside of the project since the maintainers aren't involved in setting all that up? Do you know what I'm saying? That, I, that, I feel like that's probably. Minutes. So 
I'm talking to community managers who do want to know who shows up to Stack Overflow and asks questions because mm -hmm. uh, let's say you are a company that has a product, um, an open source core or software that you're building your services around and suddenly you have people showing up asking questions then you might want to reach out to them because they are evaluating your product and could be interested in your services. And so that's a type of lead generation. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then I, so then we would include them in this kind of contribution. I think that's part of this uh, type of contribution filter where you just say okay. what type of contribution are you interested in? And okay. That includes Stack Overflow, then it includes Stack Overflow. Okay, sounds good to me. All right. What a, where did, what repo is this screenshot pulling from? Because I know two of those people. <laughs> this is the Chaos Project, so I assume it's the, it includes Augur. No, I it, know must, it's Augur. it must, because I was like, I, two of those people are my friends. I have classes with them. <laughs> I was like, this is cool. <laughs> Let me guess they had a class in December and Sean made them um, open a pull request or something. Yes, and I got all of the notifications for every student who opened and closed all of their pull requests. Yeah, I just wish I just wish you would, uh, we would use a an alternate repo because I it's like I I can't turn my notifications off for Augur because I need to know when stuff happens. Exactly, but it's all right. Yeah, and I'm just thank you also for responding to the Google Summer of Code students that are coming. Yeah. I'm really excited. We've had a bunch of people already super interested. I, it's it's kind of worrying. I'm like, ah, I don't know, I don't know how we're gonna do all of this. <laughs> we'll be okay. we'll be okay though. And it's better to have too many people wanting to help than not enough. I think. And that's, yeah. As a mentor, you never know if you're doing the right thing. It, it never. No matter how long you've been doing this, so you just do the best you can. And are you on the IRC channel by any chance? I am not, but I would love to be. Because there there have been questions about Augur on the IRC channel. Okay. And I um, just keep directing them to the repo. Um, okay, I will join the IRC channel because that will probably be easier than letting it, it, it probably will just get cluttered if we put it all in the repo, just because of the number of them. Um, is the IRC channel under participate? On the chaos page? It's on the participate at the bottom. Aha. Okay, I'm going to save this. Well, I use Riot and Matrix because then I get notifications and I get messages even when I'm not there. So okay. that's my open source tool of choice. What's it called? Riot, R I O T. Does this look correct? That's it. All righty. I'm also going to bookmark this for later. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you for telling me about that. I appreciate it. Oh, of course. You're welcome. All right. Back to metrics. Can you push the strategies? I assume that Augur provides this list of new contributors or number of new contributors? Um, let me double check for you. I'm just in the tools providing this metric section. Okay. I'm fairly certain that we provide it. I'm just going to double check. New contributors. Yep. Right. Data collection strategies. We don't need this. That's mostly for the DNI working group. Right. 
Um, Oh, that's not a good example to cut and paste. That's good enough. I'm just going to link that one. Um, yeah, we have been going towards a more simple approach without providing all the details. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But let's see if we've got a graph. In this. I'm going to see if we've still got the visualization for this. Oh. Okay, shoes closed. No, it does not look like we do. Yeah. Okay. I like everything we've got. Okay. Um, can you think of anything else that we might need to add? Just thinking of sample filters, parameters, aggregates. It doesn't really make sense to have aggregates in this case, I don't think, since we're just counting one per person. I think that reference I put in there is it's good enough. Okay. Oh yeah, I like it. it's got the other links in it. Yeah. Oh, and it's not just. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Three ways to open source communities could learn from CrossFit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I have to skim this. Now I got you intrigued. <laughs> Say hi to new persons. That's exactly what we just wrote. So yeah. <laughs> many accomplishments. Exactly. Allow for off topic interactions. Huh. That's actually a good one. That's kind of hard. It is because you want to not annoy the rest of the community, but you still want to allow people to establish a personal relationship. Yeah. I clicked on this article thinking, there's no way this is going to be, like, I don't know. I don't want to say bad, but I was like, oh, come on. But that's actually, huh. I got to think about that now. Anyways. Yeah, Stormy Peters is, uh, is a good, um, she's very experienced in communities. 
she was really nice, really good. She was at uh, Red Hat and switched to Microsoft. Oh, wow. That's a change. All right, shall we put the tentative stamp on this one for now? And yeah, let's create a pull request and submit it. Sounds good. Requests. And then we can call it a day. We have accomplished something. Yeah, look at us. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. I love these working sessions. Me too. <laughs> yeah, thank you for leading the working group and making sure we are effective. Yeah, of course. All right, I got to do this on my local machine. All right, let's see. It's evolution. Okay. Get all upstream master. Push. Uh, do all the boring good stuff at the shift. All right. So I'm going to say. Where'd it go? Wait, no. I want new contributors that empty. Ah! There we go. Can you uh, email me that picture so I can throw it in the I can also send you the link to the oh, actually, yeah. dashboard where you can. Uh, that would probably be easier. Yeah. <laughs> so the way to get uh, pictures out of a Google Doc, I learned this the other day, is you create a, a keep note, and then you can download it from the keep note. That's, <laughs> that seems like such a hack. <laughs> It is. But I, I love it. There. Now you can. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's great. I feel like that's definitely unintentional, but I'm OK with that. OK, so I don't have to send you the link. Yeah. New contributors. And I'm just going to save it to the right spot. It's, it's something that has always bugged me, where I wanted to get a picture out of a Google Doc. And I was like, how do I do this? And I finally <laughs> learned it. That's weird. Uh, metrics. Metrics. Follow the name. Okay. PNG. There we go. And then. What's the? Yeah, exclamation point, square brackets, round brackets. OK. Yes. It's like a URL, but. It's the, the square brackets is the alternate text, right? Right. New contributors, visualization from the more lab. Yep. And then images slash new contributors. This is what I call it, right? Excellent. I think so. Yes, new contributors.png. Oh, I didn't even know Sublime would open pictures in it. That's cool. 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 All right, so we did that. Um, I will go ahead and in the community growth, I'm going to update the. Oh, it's already there. New contributors. Perfect. Awesome. So, and new. Uh, Update new contributors. MD. And now I gotta do on get stuff. And now moment of truth. Wrong branch. Aha. Here we go. Clear pull request.
right. I'll just add in. Of two twenty four. All right, four quests is open. All right, look Thank at us. Much. Yep, Grand speed, sir. You too, sir. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.